What up everyone, welcome back to Blade Bias. Welcome to my silly little bed where I avoid my silly little tasks. I actually just finished one of my silly little tasks. It was an assignment for my AI class, which contrary to what the name might have you suggest, has nothing to do with the AI that you and I are accustomed to nowadays. It, we're currently discussing like elevators and searching algorithms. So not the most exciting class in the world, but Welcome to what I want to call Sunday sit down, even though I'm not uploading this on a Sunday and I'm not even recording it on a Sunday because it's like 1230 right now. But you know what? It was Sunday when I had the idea. So that's good enough. Um, I've been struggling a little bit lately with coming up with like just consistent ways to make content that aren't topic focused, you know? So usually Blade Bias is topic focused. I have a new Bala song that I want to show off. I have some something that I'm giving an opinion on. I have some idea that I'm discussing with you guys. And it's never really like personality based where I just kind of ramble or talk about something which I don't know. Do you guys want that? Is that something that you enjoy or do you just prefer when I just do things? The problem is when I always have something to do is that's not how it goes 100% of the time because I can't just be constantly getting in new Bala songs. There isn't constantly new news to discuss. There isn't constantly something that I particularly want to talk about. So I'm going to do this part of the... I'm going to do just a trial run of this Sunday sit down, as I'm calling it, where I just ramble for 10 minutes or so. And then you guys let me know what you think. So let me know what you think of this video. If you have any ideas for more consistent content that isn't really topic based, let me know that I can do more consistently that I don't have to really think up ideas for. Um... Or if you don't like this, also let me know. I don't know. Leave a comment. And I'm not saying that all like the content or the topic focused stuff is going away. This is just to fill in the gaps, you know. Um, so yeah, starting off the Arctic. I've been really enjoying the Arctic lately um, because flipping while sitting down, sitting in my bed has become kind of a regular thing for me. The the Arctic has just been treating me really, really well. Normally, when I'm standing up and flipping, it's too handle bias for me. I don't particularly enjoy it like a ton. But man, when you're sitting down, you can just you can get a lot of movement out of it without moving too much of your, your arms or anything. You don't have to move around too much to get a lot of speed and consistency and flow out of it. And it just it feels really nice. I really like flipping with the Arctic while sitting down. Uh, the extra handle bias just goes a long way into not making me have to fling my arms everywhere and do a whole bunch of crazy movements, which lends itself really well to flipping into the night when I can't, you know, drop things and make a ton of noise. I can just sit here and flip, and it's pretty great. Um, I've also been flipping the bandage knife stitch here, but it's a live blade, so obviously I'm not going to be doing that for too long over my bed and my legs and all of that. Um... And speaking of on my bed and, you know, my legs, you're probably noticing that I'm just surrounded by my silly little things. I got a new box in today. You might have noticed the bunny girl over here. I'm not a weeb. I actually really hate the box art. I mean, like, it's it's good art, I guess. I'm just not into the anime stuff. I much prefer this box right here that comes under it. But box aside, I got these in today. Um, these Tangled Boys, if you give me one second, these are the Truthier Hexas. Um, when I got into IEMs, I kind of went and hit the ground running. The Timeless were my first pair, and these are like 200 bucks, so I completely missed out on everything that the more budget-oriented side of things offers. So, when I saw these for sale, secondhand, by someone who barely even used them, I was like, you know what? Let's figure out what the what the uh, budget IM market has to offer. These retail for about eighty dollars, so this is like right alongside kind of the price range that we Balasong flippers kind of recommend to people with like the vault and the marbles and all that. And man, do they sound amazing! They sound really, really good. A lot of people describe them as mini blessing threes. They actually have a very similar. You can see the shape is kind of similar, but they have a similar driver structure. So this is four balanced armatures and then two dy dynamic drivers. These have four balanced armatures, or yeah, four balanced armatures and then one dynamic driver. So you're missing out on one of those dynamic drivers. But the sound signature is also very similar. 
Um, these are just more thin, more harsh. Um, vocals don't really have like that fullness that they do on the blessings. But that's the thing. These retail for 320. These retail for 80. These get like 80% of the way there to these. And they cost a fourth as much. They sound ridiculously good. Especially, especially if you don't have more expensive IEMs to compare them to. The only, like I, I put them in my ears for the first time. And I was like, wow, these sound amazing. And only when I compared them to the other two, I was like, okay, they don't sound as amazing as I thought. But they're still ridiculously good for $80. And especially the deal that I got them for. I got them for about 60 bucks. Which for barely used IMs, I will take that. I'll take that deal. Um, they're not going to live in my collection forever. In fact, I'll probably be selling them in the next week or so. Um, just because I really did just get them. Because I was curious what budget IMs were like. And they're just they're too similar to the blessings for me to want to keep. I would rather spend that money to figure out what some other budget IMs sound like. Or maybe get something else that would go into my permanent collection that sound a little bit more unique. But if you want to get into IMs, wholeheartedly I recommend the, the Truthier Hexas. These sound amazing. The cable feels nice. They come with some, with some really nice accessories. You got all these ear tips, wide bore ear tips, um, memory foam ear tips. They have this little case, which like, it's not the best case in the world. Uh, if I wrap these things up right here, you know, and then we... Uh, we open this bad boy up. It's like this weird little like pocket pouch thing. And we can button it, button it up like that. And then like that. And it's like, it doesn't offer much protection. Like, you know, the IMs are right there. You can see them sticking through, but it's nice. Like this isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, It's certainly nothing like the hard case that comes with the Blessing 3s, but Again, we're talking about a fourth of the price or like half the price of the Timeless. Timeless actually costs like 2.5 times this exactly, but who cares? I mean, budget for the budget, man, the hexes are really good. And it even goes lower than that. There's 50, even $20 IMs that people rave about. So I wouldn't mind getting them just to try out. It's not really IMs. You don't really need like beaters like you do in the Valison community, but... It is nice to have a cheaper pair to go out with and not worry about damaging, damaging them at all. But even with that, I don't think these will be staying in my collection just because the Blessing 3s, you know, they just sound a little bit better. But again, they sound really, really good for 80 bucks. Like really, really good for 80 bucks. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, other things, I just want to throw out a shout out to Squid. I mean, news like... Squid has been crushing it lately. They uh, are actually releasing products when they say they're going to, which isn't normally a thing that Squid does. So they got the Squiddy AL like three months out after they uh, revealed it. The Madco is releasing this week. Hopefully the Hydro is going to release before the end of the year, like they've been saying. The Hydro is really, if they release the Hydro on time, then they've really, they've really, really brought it back from all the people saying, oh, Squid never hits their deadlines me i say that um but yeah I'm, i hope the hydro comes out but even if it doesn't the al and the madco are out so good job squid and then finally i guess just more personal stuff i've been loving roguelites lately loving them it's so nice to just not have to deal with other people you know i played valorant for the first time in like a month yesterday and i just really didn't enjoy it i did premiere which is like a tournament system in the game it's like more competitive than ranked. You can get a team together and play with your friends. I just didn't enjoy it, man. I, I don't know. Roguelites are just really fun because you're not fighting other people. You're just fighting AI. It's all about your skill. If you die in a roguelite, it's most likely your fault if you're playing a good one. So it's like you're bad versus someone else is really good and just diffing you. And I've just, I've just been really enjoying it. It's nice to have a single player game with the replayability of a multiplayer game because each run is different, just like each game of Valorant is different, you know? So roguelites, uh, Risk of Rain, Robocraft, Crab Champions, been loving them recently. 
Um, and I've also been loving ending this video. Thank you for watching. Let me know again what you think. Uh, and if I should do this again or weekly, again, Sunday sit down, you know, fun. I don't know. Uh, that's the update. Truth your hexes, ballast songs, stuff like that. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.